We talked with biologists back in 2007 when they first released lake sturgeon in the Cumberland River. And they may swim around locally here in the shallow water before they you know, meander off into the deeper sections of the lake. Eight years later, we're headed back to the same spot at the mouth of the Laurel River to see how they're doing. What are we doing today? We set trout lines out last night. These fish are benthic species, so they go up and down the river on the bottom looking for macro invertebrates uh, when they're smaller, so worms, fly larvae, anything like that that might be down there in the rocks or in the, in the leaf litter. And when they get bigger, they can transition to some smaller fish. How many nets you got out? Six lines, so 300 hooks. What's the upper end of the size that you're getting on some of these things? Uh, I believe the biggest one we got last month was actually an original stocker from 07. It was 37 and a half inches oh, wow. out of four point. Wonderful. There's what we're looking for. What a cool animal. It feels like shark skin. Let's talk about what this is, first of all, for those who might not know. Yeah, this is a lake sturgeon. Uh, we started an effort back in 2007 uh, that we've committed to stocking and trying to reestablish this fish into its native range. Uh, we are on the main stem of the Cumberland River today, kind of above the lake area. First of all, it's an ancient looking fish. Yes. You know, it doesn't have a scale structure or anything like you see in, in any of our sport fish. These used to be here in great numbers, correct? Yes. Years and years ago. Yes. How big can this fish get? Uh, in the Great Lakes area, these fish can get over 100 pounds. We'd like to see that here one day. The plan is to reestablish this fishery and possibly one day it will become a sport fish with limited harvest. Imagine 20 years from now, what do we? What could we see 20 years from now as size in these fish? That's the exciting thing, um, especially for Matt and I. We came on with this project in 2007, so we're going to see it from the beginning, and hopefully by retirement we'll see some reproduction within these fish. So not sure. We'll see. That's why we're coming out here to see the condition, seeing how big they're getting. Are they getting weight as well? Are they a little bit thin? So far, so good. They're they're looking like they like to be here, and they're eating well. So hopefully we'll have some big old fish come 20 years. Now. So cool. What's the whole workup process? What, what will we do from here? So first we'll grab the fish, we'll take a weight on the fish, we'll take total length, meaning going from the snout all the way to the very far tip of the tail, and then we'll take fork length, so going from the tip of the snout all the way to where the tail forks. And then we'll look at the scoot removal and see if we can see a pattern on which age class this fish is. If you start seeing some signs put up by our fisheries people, there's a very specific uh, an idea what we need to do here. If somebody catches one of these, what do they need to do? Well, first off, uh, if they could take a picture of it, uh, measure it to get a rough size on it, and then give us a call uh, at Frankfurt. Uh, let us know, please, where you caught it, and give us the information that you got, and immediately release it after that. Uh, these fish are catch and release only for the foreseeable future to help reestablish the population. You know, these are not as tangible, I guess you might say, as a peregrine falcon mm -mm. or an elk because they're, not they're as below charismatic. the surface. <laughs> but how cool. And when you see the Department of Fish and Wildlife 
not only taking care of the existing species, but you think about the alligator gar. They were here at one time, mm -hmm. now they're back. To me, that's as exciting as seeing the elk roaming back in their habitat. Exactly. Or, seeing a, or seeing a peregrine falcon flying around with a... These are our fisheries charismatic species. Um, and and I, they're near and dear to my heart. Um, we're in charge of both the alligator gar and the lake sturgeon program. And these species that take so long, they get so big, um, you just have to have respect for that. So it's really exciting. Thank you.